。二零一六年十一月九号，印度民众因为总理的一项宣布，一觉醒来，身上的五百和一千钞票瞬间变成无法流通的废纸，简直是有惊没有喜。印度黑市交易和洗黑钱的问题严重，在二零零二年到二零一一年短短的十年期间，多达三千多亿的美元流入黑市，造成严重的经济损失，成为这个金砖国的棘手问题。总理莫迪就职两年多来，积极招商。提振经济，但打黑的措施成效不大，无疑影响投资市场的信心。因此，莫迪一人决定从今天开始全面回收大面额的五百和一千卢比钞票。Notably, in recent years, foreign fake Indian currency notes in high denominations, i.e., the 500 and 1,000, has been increasing. However, I can assure you. There has been no breach of any of the security features, but for ordinary and common public, the looks of an fake Indian currency note is similar to genuine notes, which makes it difficult for them to distinguish. 政府的最新政策也规定，民众在十二月三十号之前到银行或邮政局兑换所有大面值的钞票。不过，过程中必须登记和解释金钱的来源。至于所有的提款机，今天开始暂停运作两天。政府将会在星期四发行最新的纸币。对于政府的最新政策，民众反映两极化。These decisions need to be surgical, isn't it? I mean, the the motive of the government. Uh, requires this kind of surgical action. Alternate banana was the rule. If you go to the market, if you go to the market, you can't be very practical. 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 You can't be very 由于政府只提供不到两个月的时间来更换旧钞，部分的民众担心，一旦赶不上期限，身上的钞票将会瞬间从宝变草，担心不已。市场分析则认为，印度经济有四成属于依赖现金交易的中小型企业，如今新政策出台之后，恐怕会对企业造成严重的影响，之后掀起股牌效应，更可能拖累印度的经济成长，难保不会弄巧反拙。